Hello, this is Tony Heller from RockClimateScience.com. As a geologist and electrical engineer, I've been continually amazed by the nonstop flow of disinformation from academia, government, and the press. Richard Feynman said, Reality must take precedence over public relations, for nature cannot be fooled. In 1911, the U.S. government and the New York Times said we were running out of coal and our future was wind-powered electricity. But as this data from the United Kingdom shows, you cannot run a country off of wind-powered electricity because wind is inherently unreliable. There are days when the wind isn't blowing and you can't generate wind-powered electricity when the wind is not blowing. You can't just shut the country down and wait for the wind to start blowing again. There's huge amounts of potential energy in wind, but it can't be used to run a country's electrical grid. Another equally absurd proposition is that everybody's going to be driving electric cars in the future. 120 years ago, almost 40% of American cars were electric vehicles. That figure has dropped to about 1% and for a good reason. This article from the Brooklyn Daily Eagle in 1900 explained the problems with electric vehicles. They have a short range. There's not enough charging stations. It takes a long time to recharge the batteries. The batteries are expensive and they degrade over time. In 1910, Thomas Edison claimed that he had solved these problems with electric vehicles. But obviously he didn't because we still have the same problems now. Electric vehicles are running into a brick wall now because there's a shortage of battery materials and it's not going to get better. This shortage not only affects electric vehicles, but it also affects wind and solar power. Wind and solar advocates have been claiming they're going to build huge battery storage devices to save electricity for times when the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining. But that's not going to happen because nature is not going to be fooled. As a result of believing the green energy scam, Europeans are having a lot of problems. The French are turning out the lights on the Eiffel Tower. This Google search result shows that interest in firewood in Germany is skyrocketing because firewood is the only way that many families are going to be able to stay warm this winter. There's going to be a lot of smoke in the air in Germany because of their government's green energy delusions. However, there are new energy technologies which actually make sense. Hydrogen is frequently described as being an energy source, which is not true. You can't mine hydrogen like you can coal, oil, natural gas, or uranium. Hydrogen has to be manufactured using other sources of energy. But hydrogen is potentially a very useful fuel for the future. Hydrogen can be generated by windmills while the wind is blowing and then stored in tanks. This solves the energy storage problem which batteries cannot. Hydrogen can be transported via tanker vehicles and pipelines. After being transported, it can be used to generate electricity and can also be used to power vehicles. When I was a child, I used to make my own hydrogen by passing an electrical current through salt water. I don't recommend doing this because hydrogen, like any liquid or gaseous fuel, can be very dangerous. These scenes were filmed by Pathé News cameraman William Deke, and you are about to see the pictures he got when the ship exploded. Those aboard leaping for life from a flaming inferno. The actual crash of the Hindenburg, an airship destroyed in less than half a minute. Like I said, don't try making your own hydrogen at home. Generating hydrogen from salt water is not practical because salt water is very corrosive and releases toxic chemicals like chlorine. But there are efficient technologies available now to generate hydrogen from fresh water. The potential for this technology can be seen in this diagram from Siemens. Electricity from offshore wind turbines can be used to desalinize seawater. 
Then additional electricity from the wind turbines can be used to generate hydrogen from the desalinized water. The hydrogen is then compressed and put into pipelines where it's sent to storage tanks, industrial facilities, or used for transportation vehicles. Hydrogen is a clean burning fuel. The only emissions it generates is water vapor. It makes no sense to try to run a grid off of wind-powered electricity or solar, but that doesn't mean that wind and solar are useless technologies. The key to moving forward with energy is to get governments, the press, and academia out of the way, and instead rely on scientists and engineers who actually know what they're talking about. Toto's a very smart dog, and he's been barking about this for a long time. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Toki and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.